Soulful greetings, family. This is Shayla, the Holistic Rebel, and you are listening to, yes, Health and Other Shit, where I talk about health and a whole bunch of other shit. So this week, we only have audio. I am so sorry. The visual aspect of it all is kind of paused for a minute because... How I do all of my visuals is pun my phone, my iPhone, my personal phone. And yeah, the storage is full. So full where sometimes I cannot open up my WhatsApp, which can be quite irritating. So yes, we just have audio this week. And if you may have noticed um, that I did not post for about two weeks onto this podcast due to this issue, just trying to sort everything out out technically and yeah and also if you heard like different I don't know sounds going on I am also trying to set up for my 7 a.m. class this morning at Shimana Circle I guess I teach yoga and mindfulness and I'm setting up at the same time as I'm doing this so anyway (laughs) we move So today I want to talk about, you know, pressing forward with your dreams and, you know, and actually like standing 10 toes down doing so. Being an entrepreneur, especially pursuing a business um, that is not of the norm, not, not, I wouldn't say of the norm, but pursuing something that is not a cushiony job can be very, very scary and very daunting and you can be met with a lot of projection especially of those who wish that they could you know create a business um, that they love or work in something that they love and it just doesn't have the balls to do so you know and what that looks like that can look like a lot of things that can look like your closest family members who you thought that is your main support system that are projecting their fears on you asking you okay so when are you going to get a nine to five or when is this going to happen or when is that going to happen but not understanding that the life of an entrepreneur it's not something that happens overnight you know it's something that definitely takes time so for those who are pursuing a career in a business or creating a business or creating a life more so that you want to live stand 10 toes down baby stand 10 toes down in your decision in your choice and work hard as fuck to get it because Rome wasn't built in a day right so with that being said things are gonna go great for maybe a period of time and then it's going to slow down and then you're going to have those what the fuck moments like oh my god what did i get myself into but this is literally the shift this is a shift from you know something say if you had a job a really good paying job say in the rat race and that you know is coming from that free falling and trusting yourself to create that space and that life that you want to create that paycheck to create that bank account that you want doing the things that you love doing the things that you want to do and as you know it's going to take some time to get there it's going to take a whole bunch of tears it's going to take a whole bunch of what the fuck moments it's going to take a whole bunch of you know slightly doubting yourself and thinking oh maybe i should just do then that office job or maybe I should just do something that you know I know I'm going to get paid every week or every month but the whole beauty of being an entrepreneur and the whole beauty of building your own business is not having to really answer to anybody you know it's being able to set your own hours being able to say that no this is yours this is mine this is my business this is what i produce this is my baby and i did this you know having those moments of like fuck like this is me i did this you know having those moments of bliss and euphoria because everything came from you everything was produced from you 
So if you do still have that cushiony job, I mean, use that. Don't let it drain you, but use that to aid in you becoming full time in your passion. You know, use that to be the catalyst to get you where you need to be. But don't let it be the end all of be all. You know, you can definitely sustain a lifestyle doing whatever the fuck you want to do. That's the thing about living life is like you don't have to conform to the rat race or to the things that we have been conditioned to believe, you know, having these specific jobs, especially here on the island of Bermuda. You know, everybody is an actuary. Everybody is an accountant. Everybody is in reassurance and everybody is in, in these things and making a good living. But are you happy like when when you wake up to go to work are you like oh my god i can't wait to crunch numbers today and if you are honestly all the power to you baby and keep pressing forward and do what you love but if you're not what are you gonna do to make yourself happy what are you gonna do to create a life that you want without slaving away and feeling like you're selling your soul every day you know, again, for those who enjoy what they do in these fields, by all means, this is not this is not a dig on you, but and keep doing what you do. You know, you're doing amazing at it. Keep at it. But for those who don't, what you're going to do? Don't stay in something that's literally chewing at your soul. And you're like, oh, you know, get up and do your dream get up and create your dream get up and live the way you want to live if you want to travel and be remote create something that you can and the thing is right like it making money online is so easy nowadays so easy there's so many things you can create low content books on canva to sell on amazon you can do i don't know youtube you can do e-commerce you can do a whole bunch of stuff nowadays because we're in the age of information and we're everything is literally at our fingertips so i'm just saying fuck what everybody else has to say bring yourself around um like-minded individuals you know surround yourself with individuals that do if not the same, but very close to what you want to do and literally feed off of their energy, ask questions, um, you know, like really diverse yourself into it and know that, you know, there are going to be tears. There are going to be moments of doubt. There are going to be have those things, but just know that those feelings will pass and you'll be able to press forward. You know, don't allow the moment of shift, those shifting moments to define or to deter you from your your dream or what you want to do. Feed off of those shifting moments. Understand that when those moments arise, it is just you climatizing to becoming the person that you want to that you want to be, that you're trying to pursue, that you are pursuing to be. You know, stand 10 toes down. Don't let nobody knock you off of your game. Keep pressing forward. And if you need support, if you need words of encouragement, I am always open and holding space for you. You can DM DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is the holistic fucking rebel. Fucking spelled F C K N. Um, yeah, you can, if you're on YouTube, just send me a message and I'll get back to you. Like there's multiple ways to get in contact with me. So yeah, allow me to hold space for you and be that support. Um, if you need it, trust me, I needed it. Me building Holistic Rebel has been a beautiful journey, but it's also been a tough one. You know, I've had family members that don't see my vision and is consistently asking me, when are you going to get a nine to five? And, you know, at first, tough skin. Yes, I've got that. Like, 
but I'm also a very soft and an emotional person, you know? Um, so like I've cried many tears. I've had those moments where I'm like, oh, maybe I should just listen to them and get this, this job or, you know, but I can't, I honestly can't see myself doing that. I can't see myself selling. I, I was going to say selling out, but I am, I'm selling out myself if I do that, you know? But at the same time, if you and your journey feel like you need to in order, see, I don't have kids. I don't have obligations like that. So it's kind of okay for me for right now to kind of do what I'm doing. Well, yeah, it's okay for me to do that because I don't have any of the obligations of other things. But if you do and you feel as if that you need to have that slightly cushioned job for you to create a pathway for you to get where you need to be in your own business then do it but just don't let it be the end all of be all don't let it crush your dreams don't let it you know create don't let it over throw what you have went into that job to do you know stand 10 toes down hold yourself accountable get yourself an accountability partner or coach you know like get yourself a business coach and that's one thing as well don't think that you have to do everything on your own or by yourself you know there is so many people out there that are open and willing to help small businesses to get where they need to be, delegate your roles. There's also many internet sources that would do things for you. I had a a smoothie date with my cousin the other day and she told me about a site that is basically like virtual assistants. Like anything that you want is on this site. Like if you need somebody to edit your videos, there's somebody on the site if you need somebody to create you a website there's somebody on the site to do so there anything that you need they if you need um a shop set up like a online shop like a spot what what is it shopify if you need someone to set up a shopify for you there's somebody on there to do that for you um if you want to know the link to this site it will be in the description box on youtube so if you're listening to this um, on Instagram, go on my YouTube and I will have it all in the description box. All the sites that you can use to, to help aid into you know, your small business and things like that. Again, I am here to hold space. I know what it feels like to go through these emotions when you're when you're working on developing things in your own way or in for yourself to create your own business. So, support, I'm here for you. <laughs> okay, I am here to hold hold space and give you support. So, stand 10 toes down in your decision and even if things evolve like say you start with one business or one business idea and it doesn't pull through it's okay continue to do the things and to create all that you need to all right i love you i love you i love you i hope you have the most amazing day and remember if no one loves you you love you and the rebel loves you i love you